Hello friend, in this video lecture I am going to discuss what how to use the Arima tool inside time series. So first uh, I am going to delete this uh, previous uh, workflow and uh, let's go to in and output and uh, drag this input to data inside the workflow and uh, here you can use file or database. So let's uh, take the database first. So I am going to click on the data source. Uh, connecting with uh, Microsoft SQL Server. So here I'm going to use Microsoft SQL Server add-on database and employees table. Now here let's uh, keep the connection test underscore SQL Server. You can give any meaningful and here after that is the uh, host uh, going to write uh, local host or you can give your PC name SQL Server Authentication SA and give the password click on this test it's uh, successful now choose the database Adam I choose and uh, now hereafter click on OK so here I am going to select this so employees table you can select uh, any or table from there double click on it click on this uh, star so it will select all the columns ok now here after the next is so for Arima tool we need to go on site inside of time series tab so click on this time series here after or uh, drag this Arima tool and uh, stabilize the link between these tools and uh, here about the Arima tool so this is the uh, brief for description so estimate a univariant time series forecasting model using auto regressive integration mod moving average Arima method so here you can target field frequency you can use this all our daily weekend quarterly annual so default it's uh, selected monthly and here you can see employee salary department so it has other columns like this also but it's uh, taken only numeric field so this all are numeric field so that it's uh, taken now here after let's give the name MDF Arima and it has uh, three outgoing uh, so here let's go to this uh, input output browse this is for output O for output R for report and uh, I for interactive report now here this time going to select mon monthly after that I will select uh, different so let's uh, run this workflow so total numbers of rows 107 you can see 107 if I scroll down here 107 is the last now here it's uh, 107 this is the connection server this all it is Ma workflow successful there is no any problem completed within 16 second now if you click this so here you can get the model name and object now this is for report so this is so uh, here summary arima make that little bigger and this is the name here method arima 0 1 2 0 0 and 12 so auto arima selected employee id coefficient that is 1 information criteria minus inf and here you can see this is the plot scf and auto correction function plot and if I click on this so this will uh, give you the information about this is so uh, arima record text so this is for higher and lower so this is uh, here lower and I think uh, that go higher 211 now if I scroll down here root mean is square and uh, here parcel auto regression so this time that I selected 
here this so sql server or you can select any file so click on this file select the file so going to select a customer file so here you can see c country and now customer click on open and uh, here click on this run oh so there is one more problem i forget to give the uh, value so that it's uh, generating error so record id it's uh, selected now here after there is one more thing this time that i selected monthly let's uh, select here annually now rerun this uh, workflow and uh, total incoming rows 4045 the size 356 kb so since the number of soft rows are higher so it will take some times to complete the workflow so here or oh, you can see 2119 so the value is going on this and it's now completed on 28 second let's see this is the uh, report arima this time you can see 21300 and here one record id it's uh, selected and here coefficient information criteria so it was minus inf minus inf it has some values now me and this is the plot and if I select uh, this one, so it will give you the information about lower and highest. So here this is the lowest and this is the highest. Open and add root mean square 147 and this is here, this all those things. So this is about the Arimo here tool inside to uh, time series alteryx. So it will estimate univariant time series forecasting model using an auto regressive integration moving average. Next uh, you can select here test with uh, like uh, monthly, weekly, hourly and there is only one numeric field so that record ID is selected. Here this is the model customization and other here you can set uh, us uk iso and graph option you can make that bigger or smaller and if you uh, select this option use covariant model so this is the optional part and it has this columns and uh, you can check this record id and uh, after that you can run and check the output and interactive output for this uh, arima model so this is the way we can use Arima model inside Alteryx. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's uh, over. So thanks for watching. See you next video. Thank you.